and that was built in 1929 went up in flames, likely because of a chemical reaction in the hay. Yeah, the Anderson County barn has been in the family for two generations and was full of memories of loved ones. LEX 18's Claire Kopsky has the story. This barn in Anderson County has been in the Chrisman family since 1972. Me and my brother Terry, we decided in the early 70s that we needed to find a farm to raise their family on. So we, we bought the farm and started cleaning and building fences and, and raising cattle and raising tobacco. Robert's nephews now own the farm and manage the family cattle business. One of their wives woke up to a call from a friend about the fire. He asked if that was our barn on fire. And being asleep, I, I was kind of like, no, no, it's not. And then he repeated the address, and it, it hit me. And I pulled the window shade up and looked out. And I said, yeah, it's, it's our barn. The fire raged for hours, destroying everything. A tractor, about 100 bales of hay, and the family barn quilt. The Chrisman family has been through tragedies before, including the death of three family members. Most recently, they lost Eric Chrisman, a former state trooper who died in a car crash while out on duty. You know, we're like, nobody was injured. Yeah, so we're okay. We'll be okay. You go through something you can't replace, and this is all replaceable. The loss of life is uh, something that we never can replace and can never get through completely. Uh, but uh, the, loss of, the loss of things is just things. Things that hold irreplaceable memories of their loved ones. Covering the news in Anderson County, Claire Kopsky, LEX 18 News.